Hello, I'm Ray. Welcome to the M2 story. In the past week, there have been three murders in succession in Silicon Valley, California, USA. First, Los Altos, an old couple in their 60s. The husband shot himself after killing his wife. Later, a wealthy white businessman in Los Gatos hid his body in the mountains after killing his Chinese wife, who was more than 10 years younger than himself. What has attracted the most public attention is a young Chinese couple who live in Santa Clara and work for Google. The husband was arrested after killing his wife. Because the three incidents happened at the same time and at the same place, many media reported them in the early stage. Inevitably, information is confused, inconsistent, and even misrepresented, which makes people confused. M2's editor focused on the Google couple's incident, according to information released by the police and media reports. It has carried out a phased combing, hoping to show you the context as close as possible to the facts. On Tuesday, January 16, 2024, at 10.30 a.m. local time in California, the Santa Clara Police Department received a 911 call. He had contacted his friend's family many times this morning, but no one answered the phone, so he simply drove over to check. The doorbell rang wildly, but no one answered, but there seemed to be a figure in the room in a very strange posture. He was stiff and motionless, which made his friend feel nervous, so he called the police for help. At first, the police did not take the matter seriously, but at the repeated request of the other party, two police officers were dispatched half an hour later. Go to the house at 714 Silicon Valley Way and do what's called a welfare check. It is a kind of door-to-door -door security visit conducted by American police upon invitation. No one answered the door, so the officer had to go around to the back of the house, look through the window glass, and find a man kneeling on the ground. His hands were raised in the air, as motionless as a statue of a god, and his eyes were staring blankly at the corner of the room, and there seemed to be a woman lying there. Faced with this situation, the police decided decisively to break into the house, and even in the face of such a big noise, the man was still dull. The police found that his right hand was very swollen and purple, and there were bruises and scratches on the back of his hand, wrist, and forearm. His clothes, legs, arms, and hands were covered with blood, and the floor, walls, and doors of the room were covered with blood. Large areas of blood were also found, and the whole house was filled with a strong smell of blood. The blood came from the woman lying on the floor. Her face and head were bloody, and she was already not breathing. The victim was identified by the medical examiner because the victim's face had been hit so hard that it was swollen beyond recognition. She is the hostess of the house, 27 years old, named Yu Xuanyi. The man at the scene was her husband, Chen Liren, also 27 years old. In the face of the police's inquiry, Chen Liren's answer was, I beat my wife. According to him, the two had an argument the night before and he hit his wife in anger and she fell to the ground. Mr. Chen, who was motionless and frightened, was frozen in place like a brain crash until he was found by the police. Naturally, the police would not believe this statement. The victim, Ms. Yu, was severely beaten on her head and face. It showed that she died after multiple blows, and the forensic report confirmed the cause of Ms. Yu's death after multiple blows to the head, resulting in severe concussion, coma, and external hemorrhage. That is to say, she was beaten to death by her husband with her fists. This can explain why Chen Liren's right hand is so swollen. Although Mr. Chen wears glasses and has a gentle appearance, he is actually 1.9 meters tall and has the habit of exercising and keeping fit on weekdays. Whether in height or physical strength, it is a completely crushing advantage for women. Plus, he was in line from high school to college. It is hard to imagine how Yu Xuanyi faced her husband's fist like a storm at the last moment of her life. How much fear and despair I felt in my heart. And what I can't imagine is that in such a long process of violence, he should have countless opportunities to avoid tragedy, even if it is a hesitation, a little pity can stop. He called an ambulance, but he didn't. Instead, he beat his wife to death with a series of punches. It is estimated that the whole process, it may be as long as half an hour to an hour. They met and fell in love with the same university, Tsinghua University. After graduation, they went to the United States to study together, from campus to the workplace, and work together in a big company like Google. How did they get to this point? Shortly after the murder, someone on the internet, based on the height, body shape, and behavioral characteristics of the two people, I guess the man may come from the Northeast where male chauvinism is serious, while the woman is gentle and introverted. But this guess was soon proved wrong. In fact, on the contrary, Ms. Yu is from Songyuan City, Jilin Province, while Chen Liren 
is from Chengdu, Sichuan province. Many Sichuan men are known for raking their ears, which means a man who is afraid of his wife. Chengdu, number seven. Middle school, where Chen Liren is studying, is not only a famous provincial key middle school. Even in the whole of China, it is a cattle school. According to the official website of Number 7 Middle School, there are not only education experts among the main subject teachers, but also excellent teachers in the whole country and subject leaders in the whole province. Even the teachers in sports, music, and fine arts, which are generally valued by schools, are also famous teachers. Pianists who have returned from studying abroad, painters who have held solo exhibitions, and gold medalists in the national games. Famous alumni who make the school proud are too numerous to mention. With such a strong escort of teachers, the results of the college entrance examination at Chengdu No. 7 Middle School are even more eye-catching. Every year, more than 70 students are admitted to Tsinghua University and Peking University, the top universities in China. It accounts for half of the admission rate of Tsinghua University and Peking University in Chengdu, so No. 7 Middle School is known as the nearest middle school to Tsinghua University and Peking University. In 2023, a photo of Beijing No. 4 Middle School Spring Dance on the Internet aroused widespread heated discussion. In the photos, you can see a group of beautiful boys and girls dressed in exquisite dance dresses and suits, dancing in the dazzling lights. The comment section is full of hot and sore comments, and people are indignant about the huge difference in educational resources. Alumni of Chengdu No. 7 Middle School said on the Internet that the campus dance of No. 7 Middle School is more luxurious than that of Beijing. No. 4 Middle School. Girls who are more fastidious will buy different evening dresses and match the corresponding jewelry every time, at least thousands. Although the official website of Chengdu No. 7 Middle School says that it is an excellent public school, the tuition standard for each semester is only a few hundred dollars. However, some parents pointed out that the annual accommodation fee at Chengdu No. 7 Middle School alone has exceeded $2,500. And this price is for those children who have excellent grades and are admitted online with high scores in the high school entrance examination. Students with poor scores not only have to pay a one-time school selection fee of more than $15,000 or even up to approximately $42,000. The annual tuition fee will also increase to $4,800 and in the International Department for Overseas Students, the tuition fee for one year is as high as $19,000. Some netizens have said that Chen Liren went to the United States for a study tour in his first year of high school, and the weekly tour fee was as high as $7,000. Our M2 editor thinks this is very possible. Her cousin's son also went to Chengdu No. 7 Middle School for consultation. As a result, people said that we would go abroad for summer camp every year, usually in the United States or Europe, and prepare passports before entering school. This is a school with a large number of top students, either rich or noble. Alumni recalled him as an introverted, shy man who did not like to talk. Yu Xuanyi, the victim in this case, became the top student in Songyuan College entrance examination with 702 points in 2014. According to her information on LinkedIn, she entered the Department of Electronic Information Engineering of Tsinghua University. It is inferred that she had a life intersection with Chen Liren here. Yu Xuanyi whose parents are Bai Cheng people, Atache's great importance to education, has a stable job and a high level of education. In particular, Yu Xuanyi's mother quit her job in the last year of high school in order to facilitate her children's study. She rented a house for her daughter and herself near the school to fully support her children's study. Yu Xuanyi's performance is also very good, not only has been among the best in the class, but also in the college entrance examination, the full score of 750. With 702 points, she became the top science student in Songyuan City in 2014. According to the Red Star News, retired head teacher Zhang Guoliang still remembers his student Yu Xuanyi. She said that she was clever and introverted, not good at expressing herself at ordinary times, and her achievements in science were outstanding. But her achievements in English, Chinese, and other subjects were balanced. Director Wang of the school said that when he was teaching in the next class in Xuanyi, he was also impressed by her. It can be said that in Song Yuan, Yu Xuanyi was described as a dark horse in the college entrance examination and a legend of examinees. The reason why the above is a more detailed introduction of their middle school experience is to say a key point. First, they are considered introverted and not good at expressing themselves. Second, how can this kind of test genius and extremely intelligent young man end his partner's life in such an extreme and brutal way in life and the rest of your life? How did Yu Xuanyi 
and Chen Liren, two excellent students with different backgrounds, know each other and fall in love on Tsinghua campus. We don't know these details at the moment. However, a reporter interviewed Chen Liren's high school ex-girlfriend and got the answer that during their relationship, Mr. Chen had never beaten anyone, so he was shocked to see the news that he had beaten his wife to death. It was also very painful for Ms. Yu, who was killed by him. She really couldn't figure out why such a tragedy happened. According to their resumes, they applied to the University of California, San Diego, after graduating from Tsinghua, and they were all admitted to the same major. After earning a master's degree and a brief internship in Silicon Valley, Chen Liren joined Google as a software engineer, and Yu Xuanyi also got the job offer from Amazon. According to the salary information of several major internet companies published in 2022, at this time, their salaries should be between $200,000 and $250,000 a year, which is for graduates who have just left campus. It's very high. Less than a year later, in June 2021, Ms. Yu jumped ship from Amazon and joined Google, which is said to have been promoted by Chen Liren. According to a former colleague of Yu Xuanyi, she has very strong working abilities and good communication skills. He was doing well in Amazon, had been promised a promotion and a raise, and left for Google purely on the advice of his husband, who wanted two people to work closer. According to people who claim to know the situation, Yu Xuanyi is not very willing to push this inside. After all, he is equally excellent. Professionally, she can be completely independent, but for the sake of the couple's feelings, she still obeyed Chen Liren's arrangement. This also shows that Chen's desire for control is very strong. It is reasonable to say that it is not advisable for both husband and wife to work for the same company. Only when there is a distance between husband and wife can the contradiction be reduced. This kind of life state is that many people want to avoid. Of course, Google is a big company, and the two are not in the same department. Yu Xuanyi is in cloud services, while Chen Liren is in YouTube's short film algorithm department. Why does Chen Liren insist on working in the same company with his wife? According to the recollections of friends and colleagues, Ms. Yu is an introverted person with few words, which is very similar to her husband, Mr. Chen. I almost never see them argue. The two have also posted photos on social media of them traveling, skiing, and climbing together. It looks like a very sweet and harmonious couple. On YouTube, there is an account believed to be Chen Liren, named Tony C, who posted a short video of rock climbing. There is another aerial video that has not been made public. All these prove that his life is rich and peaceful. Together, they purchased the home on Silicon Valley Road in April 2023 for $2,048,800. This area is also a high-end residential area in the South Bay, according to the information introduced by the real estate website PMZ. The population of their area is less than 6,000, and the average age of the community is 35 years old, which is still a fairly young community. The median income is $150,000. From the interior pictures of the room, they also updated part of the room until the murder happened. There are two toilets that have been replaced in the photos taken by reporters in front of the door. Someone found out the registration information of the house and found that only Ms. Chen's name was written in the owner's column. So I guess whether the contradiction between the two people is related to economic interests. But soon, someone familiar with California divorce law came out to explain that the house was bought after the two married and belonged to the property after marriage. It has nothing to do with whose name is written on the title deed. If it is really to be divided, it is also divided 50-50 after calculating the mortgage and the value of the house. Allegedly, the insider said that the house was paid for by both of them and the amount was equal. If the motive of the murder is not the house, not the money, is it possible that people have suspected before? Because of Google's big layoffs at the beginning of the year, two couples or one person lost their jobs. Faced with the coming economic pressure, Life conflicts have been triggered. At this point, Google employees said that at the time of the murder, both of them were still employees of Google and had not been laid off. Later, some employees within the company also posted the layoffs of various departments on the Internet, both of which belong to zero layoffs. So there is no economic contradiction, and they have no children, so why did they change from childhood sweethearts? Across half of the earth, women sing with their husbands and never abandon them but later they hate each other and even want to kill each other. According to their neighbors' recollections, shortly after they bought a house in April 2023, the young couple came to visit with cookies made by themselves. In the next few months, the neighbors never heard the two quarrel or even speak loudly. Their daily life is very quiet and peaceful. 
Shortly after the murder, a post by a Tsinghua alumnus and Google employee appeared on the Internet. He said, Ms. Yu had formally filed for divorce three weeks before the incident, and their marriage actually had problems as early as last June. The main reason is that the man's desire to control is very strong. As long as his wife does not act according to his ideas, he will have emotional fluctuations. He may even be suspicious of his wife's loyalty to him. During several gatherings of the Tsinghua department of Google, Mr. Chen was almost inseparable from the woman. He glared at anyone who wanted to get close to his wife, both men and women, and this way of pressing and staring at people. It also caused Ms. Yu's dissatisfaction, and several parties ended with them quarreling in public, and everyone was embarrassed. The source also stressed that Ms. Yu's previous entry into Google was also the result of her husband's constant pressure. Because he was worried that his wife was having an affair with a male colleague at Amazon, he had to put it beside him to feel at ease. But her husband's unprovoked suspicion of her became more and more serious. And after more than half a year of patient running in, Ms. Yu finally decided to give up the relationship. It is for this reason that Mr. Chen holds a kind of, I can't get it. Others do not want to get the psychological pain to his wife under the killer. The anonymous source said that Ms. Yu's departure from Amazon to Google coincided with her former colleague. There is a certain credibility. If his statement is true, then the biggest doubt is why he has filed for divorce. And knowing her husband's extreme personality, Ms. Yu still chose to live under the same roof with him instead of moving out and separating. The possible explanation is that Ms. Yu still has illusions about Mr. Chen and thinks that maybe she can take divorce as an opportunity to try to save it, see if he will wake up and make a change, or feel that they have been together for so many years, even if there is no love, there is affection. Mr. Chen's violence against himself will only stay in words, not rise to the body, or at least think that Mr. Chen is also a person who has been educated for many years and will not fight with his wife like a village man. As a result, she could only say that she still didn't know the pillow as well as she thought. Does Mr. Chen usually have domestic violence? We checked all the public information of the local court and did not see the relevant records of Mr. Chen's domestic violence. Searching with his name, the only prosecution information is the case of killing his wife. The prosecution has charged him with attempted murder as well as assault. In this murder case, maybe Mr. Chen really only committed domestic violence against the woman once, but this time for the last time in her life, according to the recollections of the friend who first reported the case. In fact, the night before the incident, when the two families were having dinner together, it can be seen that Mr. Chen was silent most of the time at the dinner table. His eyes were dull, and he did not answer the questions. It makes people feel very abnormal. After the friend returned home, the more he thought about it, the more uneasy he felt. So he called Chen's house many times the next morning, only to find a murder scene. The last time Mr. Chen and Ms. Yu updated their circle of friends was on January 1, 2024, although neither of them appeared in front of the camera. But it can be seen that they shared the New Year's feast with their beloved cats and pets, and their happiness overflowed the screen. Who would have thought that after only 16 days, their lives would fall apart in a tragic way? Perhaps to see here, many friends, like me, still have that question from the beginning. What is the motive? Why did he beat his wife to death? In fact, what I want to say is that, like many similar cases, domestic violence is not only the case, but also the motive of this case. No matter how much contradiction there was between them, no matter how much fault his wife had in his heart, at the moment when he shook his fist, it is doomed to be a tragedy without a winner. At present, Chen Liren has been transferred from the hospital to prison custody, and public documents show that the Santa Clara County Superior Court will hold a hearing at 1.35 p.m. local time on January 24, and we will update it as soon as possible.